are there. So in this video, we are going to see array in TypeScript. So make sure that you have TypeScript properly installed. You can open your command prompt and check tsc-v and it should show you the version installed on your system. Now I have created one HTML file and linked demo.js to the script source. This demo1.js file is created from our demo1.typescript. Okay, so any code that we are going to write here will be compiled into a JS file and that will be linked here. Okay, so let's start by creating one array here. I'm going to create one variable named sample and I'm going to set a string and that string is going to be my array okay and now inside this sample I'm going to add few numbers you can also add string such as let's say one two and then three then four and finally five okay so these are the strings added in our array and now it is string array and I'm going to print some specific elements from this array so sample and here I want a specific let's say two and in the next line let's try and get a zero okay and finally okay one two zero one two three four so let's get the fourth one so we are getting second, zero, and fourth position from this array. And let's find out how it looks. Okay. So here you type in TSC, then demo1.ts. If it returns with blank prompt, that means our program compiled successfully. Now in demo2.html, we have demo1.js already linked. Okay. So simply we have to open this file refresh it and you have output that shows 315 so let's take a look at our array and we have second position as 3 then 0th position as 1 and then finally our fourth position as 5 considering array is starting from 0th position 0 1 2 3 and 4 we got the answer respectively. You can see that I didn't added any break in between the document dot write statement. So that's why all three answers are merged into one and looks something like this. Okay, so you get the idea of how you can create a string array. You can replace this with numbers if you want. Okay, so you get the idea how to create array and use it in your code.